guys, welcome to London. Welcome on another Fishy Friday. And today, really exciting because I am going to cook with the master of Peruvian food, uh, the king of ceviche, Mr. Martin Morales. Hello there. Thank you for having me, Martin. Pleasure, thank you thank for you. being here. And you know, you, I'm sure you know Martin from this beautiful book. It has been tra translated in 10 different languages. It's amazing, it's amazing. And we're going to cook one beautiful recipe out of your book today, right. right? Yeah. So it's, what's gonna be? It's a recipe called Barranco, I love you. Barranco is a very special place in Lima. This recipe comes from there and my little fusion of it. And it's a customer favorite, so I thought you'd like it. Okay, let's kick off. So first, if you can peel that uh, lovely green mango and then grate it, that'd be fantastic. Yeah, okay. Thank you. And whilst you're doing that, I'm gonna do some uh, cutting in. The sea bass. This lovely sea bass. So I'm taking out here some of the fatty bits and also I'm taking out the spine. And um, you can use all of this as well for, for another dish, but not for this dish. We want quality over quantity. So this is the way how to, to cut fish for a ceviche? Yes, just about three quarters of an inch apart. That way you get like a rhombus shape, a diamond shaped cut. Yeah. Which means that you can kind of sear it on the outside and it remains nice and raw in the middle. Because we're only going to marinate this in the tiger's milk. And I'll tell you a bit about that later. Okay, so I grade the mango. Yeah. I'm trying to get that kind of sourness from the green mango. That's going to add and complement the lime and the chili that we're using for uh, the rest of the recipe in the fish. So now it's time to do the famous tiger's milk. That's the secret of a real ceviche, right? Exactly. So tiger's milk is the marinade that we use to make our ceviche. It's usually made with a citrus fruit, some chili and a little bit of salt. But I like to add a few more ingredients. First of some all, we're just use some limes. We're just going to squeeze these into a bowl. You can use any citrus fruit. In fact, lemon. First, and lemon, of course, yeah. Even passion fruit. The first fruit used for a ceviche was the tumbo, which is a native tumbo. fruit of Peru. Okay. Elongated passion fruit lime. So this is the base for the tiger's mouth? That's right. So we've got lime juice. Lime juice. We're going to add just a, a tiny bit of ginger. Just pop it in there. And then some garlic. Some coriander. And just, you know, just sort of scrunch it and leave it in there. So the juice is coming out. Then we're going to add a little bit of this. This is the Amarillo chili paste. This is the native Amarillo chili from Peru. It's my good old friend. It comes from the mountains and the Andes of Peru. And it's full of aroma. It's none of that kind of punch in your face kind of chili. It's just like... It's like more balanced. It's, it's very seductive, you know? <laughs> and if you cannot find the Amarillo, you could use chilies, right? Yes, you can yeah. use red chilies, any medium strength red chili. What we're trying to do really to get this paste is just to blend the Amarillo chili. So you mix like one teaspoon, we right. use like maybe four limes. That's right, and then we add a couple of big pinches of salt in there. Important guys, always when you make any dish, any sauce, taste it, taste it, so important. Absolutely, Absolutely. taste it as you go along, that's the perk of the chef. <laughs> right. There's a balance there, I think it's quite nice. Can I have sure. a little taste? Nice balance. Wow. Right, yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to chop some red chili, just to give it some color. And guys, if you have ever the chance to visit one of Martin's restaurants, it's really, it's amazing. Uh, so you have like two ceviche branded restaurants, one uh, in Soho in London and one here in Old Street. This is also a beautiful art gallery. So around the walls of this restaurant is Peru's yeah. first contemporary art gallery outside of Peru. So I'm just so taking out all of this, these ingredients, absolutely taking all of it out. So the garlic, the ginger, yeah. cilantro, coriander. And then the minute that hits the fish, going to start cold cooking. You leave that there for 10 minutes, it will go white, almost as if you boiled it. Another touch of salt to open up those pores. See, the key in this ceviche is, you know, it's the moment. So you put the salt on the fish, the pores open out. They kind of go up, waiting for that tiger's milk. The tiger's milk goes inside there. It's been freshly made with fresh lime juice and chili. And all these, all these flavors, like there's like chemical reactions going on, right? That in that moment, in those Fair. few minutes. And if you serve that straight away and bite into it, that's the moment where a little explosion of flavors going on in your mouth. Added the, the red chili into that sea bass with the tiger milk. 
And we've got the mango there, the green mango. It's kind of quite Yeah, the colours are well. amazing. The colours are amazing. And then we've got these, uh, these lovely uh, micro basil. Uh, but you can use any basil and just chop that up as well. Let's have a taste, Martin. Fantastic. Great. Looks wonderful. Beautiful. Please. A bit of... Grab a bit of the mango. A bit of the mango. A bit of the sea bass together. Mm. Those flavors should be mixing oh. nicely. You can taste this special way of cooking fish. Mm -hmm. It's only been marinating for a few minutes, right? That's right. But it's cooked, but it's cooked in such a different way. Martin, thank you so much for Pleasure. this fantastic masterclass in making ceviche. Um, hope you like it. And really, if you want to know more about uh, cooking ceviche, uh, any other dish from Peru, you should subscribe to Martin's channel, which is Martin's Peruvian Kitchen. Click on the link at the end of this video. Um, and also, on Martin's channel, we cooked another delicious dish, so really should see it. Um, if you like this video, give it your thumbs up. If you have any comments, any questions to Martin or to me, leave them down in the box below. Um, see you next Fishy Friday. Bye-bye.